Flacco. With the fist! Oh, beautiful goal, mate. Absolutely fucking beautiful. Love this goal. What's going on, people? Welcome back to another video. My name is Hugh Rizzi, and you're watching 90 More back again for Arsenal against Bournemouth. Bournemouth currently 12th and missing the likes of Brooks, Lerma, Wilson is out. This may well be the best time to play Bournemouth. We've got Ozil. Let's have a look at the lineups quickly. Meza Ozil starts. Okay, we've got Leno, Socrates, Koscielny, Monreal. Jenkinson, incredible. Come on. Gwenduzi, Torreira, Kolasinac, Miktorian, Ozil and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. I'm not going to lie, I'm expecting a couple of goals tonight. This team haven't scored away from home for three games. And in the last five meetings at the Emirates, it's Arsenal 11, Bournemouth 1. Big opportunity for Ozil to make an impact today. Let's hope he can do that. A win tonight, and Arsenal are just four points behind Tottenham, which would make the end of the season quite exciting. And I think shows we're making slow but steady progress. Beautiful. Okay, three points in a bag, an absolutely first class performance and a sumptuous display of silky smooth football from Meza Uzzel. An absolute Meza Uzzel masterclass we saw today. Beautiful performance, gotta say. Absolutely buzzing. But special mention for Henrik Mikatarian, who was absolutely immense and looks to be finding form that we know him from from the Bundesliga or his time in the Bundesliga. He scored more goals this season than he has since he's been in the Premier League and he was very impressive ducking in and out, weaving very creative, picking holes and finding space with Meza and linking up nicely with Aubameyang who got his goal in the end but has been struggling for a little while now. Beautiful stuff. We're going to go from back to front and just talk about the performances in general. I do think that the result itself slightly flattered Arsenal. Um, Bournemouth did have some chances. They did hit the crossbar. They could have scored um, at the end of the first half with a fantastic save from Bernd Leno down to his left like a shot, strong hands, and then an incredible challenge from Koscielny to keep Bournemouth out. Um, so Leno, I think, did play quite well. He does dither a little bit when he's got the ball at his feet, but that's being a little bit pedantic. I thought Koscielny was fantastic today as well. Best of the defenders or at least the three centre-backs anyway. And special mention for Carl Jenkinson, who just throws his life on the line, and you can tell really does feel everything, not only as a player, but also as an Arsenal fan. You really do get that impression that when things are going wrong, he will just put his neck completely on the line. And he was there a few times today, um, although he is out of position quite a lot and I don't think he's up to the required standard for Arsenal Football Club playing at the top level consistently, it is always good and kind of heartwarming to see you know, an Arsenal fan, which is what Carl really is, thriving in an Arsenal shirt. What a life he's living. Torreira didn't have his best game at all and a Guendouzi error led to Bournemouth's um, only goal. He was caught napping. I do think he was fouled, but he was caught napping and he wasn't completely spatially aware of who was around him, which, you know, does happen to other players. I don't want to just single this guy out, but I've been saying for quite a while, he is quite susceptible, especially if we're going to keep trying to play it out of the back. And uh, Eddie Howe was making Bournemouth press man for man, high up the pitch, making it very difficult. He got caught slipping a little bit and we paid the price. It could have been worse. We've won 5-1. I don't want that to be the focal point, especially when Guendouzi's energy himself was fantastic. And for large parts of the game, he was brilliant. Um, however, 
a level above him was both Mkhitaryan and Ozil, who who they just just sumptuous, really really enjoyable to watch. A different level at times. They can take the pace up and down, find space like no other, carve open defenses with beautiful passes between the lines. And we just got the feeling, or at least I got the feeling, every time we broke, we could score. Uh, Ozil's now had four shots on target in the Premier League this season. All four of them have gone in. And were it not for um, the one that hit the post, (laughs) it would have been five. He's been um, coming under a lot of scrutiny of late, and it was fantastic to see him shining. And, you know, credit to Emery for giving him the 90 minutes, especially after everything that's happened and knowing that the North London derby is there. He's kind of dangled the carrot. Is he going to start him for that game? I would hope so now, especially after the last two performances. This one is debatably his best performance in an Arsenal shirt. It's certainly reminiscent of Leicester, Napoli and other games where he's performed really well. Um, Aubameyang up top, you know, he scored his goal eventually and it... It has been quite a little while coming, hasn't it, really? He's he's coming under a lot of fire as well, even though he's got so many goals in the Premier League. I think he's got four four more goals than Lacazette and more assists, um, but still coming under fire because he does get a lot of chances. His first touch isn't great all the time and his hold-up play in general just isn't up to the standard of Lacazette's. And when Lacazette came on, wow, you just saw immediately he hits the ground running, He's desperate to be an Arsenal hero and his free kick was out of this world. Very, very enjoyable just being around an atmosphere where people are starting to believe that there's something happening. Also, you have to take into account that, you know, there's a lot of things going against him. He's really got his work cut out, Emery, to make this work. And it, it, so far, you have to commend him because if you'd said that we'd be where we are last season at this point I would have snapped your arm off that's the truth of the matter Um, we've played the majority of our difficult games we have a couple left but the majority of them are done and it is definitely going to be about consistency you know in this moment of squeaky bum time I guess because it's tight at the top everyone is vying for that fourth spot and Tottenham who've just got Harry Kane back look like they're crumbling with him Uh, Chelsea winning today I think everyone winning today really United winning, Liverpool winning, City winning so incredibly important that we keep up with the rest of them and a fantastic job you know, Um, some good rotation as well, we've got to see the likes of Dennis Suarez and Alexander Arobi came on for a little bit Um, on Bournemouth for a second we'd like to stress um, a few injuries that have really shown them up as far as squad depth goes and I don't think you can really criticise them too much However, away from home, they're really struggling. They haven't won away since October. And it's not that you could tell, but there was a lack of quality at times that meant that even though they dominated large pots uh, or for large periods, they struggled to really create clear-cut chances. And um, is that true? I don't know if that's true, actually. I feel like they actually only had one more shot or one less shot on target than Arsenal. Either way, um, they're certainly lacking. Uh, they're definitely missing the likes of Wilson and Lerma. And, you know, I do like Eddie Howe and what he's done, but a big ask to come to the Emirates and get a win against a side blessed with the talent that we've got. Everyone's flying high going into a Tottenham game at the weekend, which is almost like a top four final. Um, if we can win that game, it doesn't even seem that far-fetched to think that we could come third which you know is a fantastic achievement especially in these times of transition in these times where he's not been backed where he's had the Ozil the Ramsey situations going on and where there's been a period of uncertainty because let's not pretend that the football's been you know great to watch we want to get through this period and I think he's got to be commended for you know knowing for example, today that we're not that good at the back, so maybe we need to just just tighten up and put another one in there. Um, Granduzzi, Torreira, is that the best midfield? I don't think it is. Uh, they were both uh, caught out today quite a bit, but maybe Granit Xhaka is being completely rested for that Tottenham game. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see 
where we are come about two o'clock on Saturday because it could be in a fantastic position. We've really lined this up nicely now. And with Europa, uh, the Europa League or the Europa Cup, whatever it's called, uh, still on the cards, that's two ways in back into the Champions League, which really gives me a lot of hope. And like I said, I had a great time tonight. Uh, lots of goals. I didn't. Even, I don't even know which one I liked more, whether it's Mesut's moment of magic where he hits it into the ground and over the keeper or the incredible little awareness and the dink assist for Mkhitaryan and the build-up to that goal was fantastic. Or Lacazette's, you know, free kick. Just a great night. And especially when you're watching it in a stadium like that. When you see the stadium looking like this, we really are spoilt. So, all in all, three points in the bag, job done. A game that we were expected to win, I think, but a game that we have won, deservedly so. Uh, scored lots of goals as well, which could be good for the goal difference and could be important come the end of the season. Long may this continue. Big game on Saturday. Let's see how we do there. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on uh, the performances, who you thought the man of the match was, uh, your favourite goal. Uh, who you thought the worst player on the pitch was, and that isn't exclusive to Arsenal. I don't know why people think keep thinking it is when I say that, but um, best players on the pitch. How you would make the um, the team get those three points on Saturday? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new, and drop the video a damn like if you breathe oxygen. For now, though, I've been Hugh Izzy, and this has been a lot of fun. 